So let's take our next question that is question number 16. As per the question, force acting on a particle is 3i cap plus 2j cap newton. Work done by this force is 0 when the particle moves in a line which is given by the equation 3y plus kx equals to 5. We have to find the value of k. It's very evident that in question it is already written work done is 0. That means force is perpendicular to the displacement of the particle, right? That means the slope of this equation and slope of this equation when multiplied together will give a product of minus 1. So m1 into m2 should be equal to minus 1 by the property. Now let's talk what is the value of m1. When you talk about m1 the slope here would be 2 by 3. Whereas when you talk about m2 you will find that it would be minus k by 3 from this equation. So just multiply both of these and you will get 2 by 3 into minus k by 3 and by property they should be minus 1. Solving this you will get k as 9 by 2 that would be 4.5. Let's see which is the best suited option here among the four options. Yes, you can see that option number 4 is the correct answer to this question. Now let's move ahead to our next question that is question number 17. Now this question number 17 is a simple application of work power energy. Here a body of mass m is released from the top of a wedge which is free to move. So this wedge can move left or right. If all the contact surfaces are smooth then the velocity of m on reaching the bottom of incline is. It's a very simple application that the total energy of this mass here would be written as mgh. When it comes down, at the moment it comes down, it will have some velocity v1 this side and also this mass will move along this direction as velocity v2. So whatever energy we have here is utilized in two parts giving kinetic energy to small m and capital M both, right? If the wedge would have been fixed, this would have been zero and in that case v1 would have been equal to under root 2gh but here since v2 is not zero the surfaces are smooth so v2 will also acquire some value so some energy of this mass would be converted into the kinetic energy of the wedge so the value of v1 would be less than under root 2gh so right answer to this question would be option number two now let's move on to our next question that is question number 18 in this given arrangement, which is shown in the figure, the string and pulley are light. The car starts moving on the horizontal road with a constant velocity of 5 meter per second. Find the speed of 2 kg block when theta is 60 degree. Now, it's a question of constrained motion concept. Let's start with the solution. In the case of constrained motion, if you try to understand I would draw a line like this, so which is in parallel to the string. If you see this is theta, this angle will also be theta. If this velocity is 5 meter per second, the velocity of this would be 5 cos theta along this direction. Now this point of contact here will have velocity of 5 cos theta along this direction. Similarly, this particle will also be having velocity of 5 cos theta because the distance between two points is fixed. Similarly here and this point as well. So the velocity of this point would be 5 cos theta. So if you consider the velocity of 2 kg block as u, you can write u is equals to 5 cos of theta and a particular angle 60 degree has been told to you. So it is 5 cos of 60 that would be equal to 2.5 meter per second. So the velocity of this 2 kg block upwards would be 2.5 meter per second. So answer should be option number 4. Right. I hope you have understood the question very well. Now let's move on to our next question that is question number 19. 